How funny are you? Fuck. Will you do a video? I didn't get to about the title. I'm here to talk about Call of Duty 2021. Now, we haven't thought already, Sledgehammer have confirmed that they're making this year's Call of Duty. Now, it hasn't been named yet. The setting hasn't been named yet. So, we have no idea, obviously, what, what, what to expect yet. Now, I'm guessing they'll probably announce it from any time. It could be any time now until June. June. I'm, I'm guessing between June and July. That's when they'll probably announce it. Obviously, because due to COVID, um, they've had to, you know, probably delay some stuff. Same as Black Ops Cold War. Now, I'm going to tell you what I'm hoping for in this year's Call of Duty. Now, before I do that, I want to talk about, I want to talk about this year's Call of Duty. This year's Call of Duty, I wouldn't say it wasn't bad. It wasn't. I just, I just think it was a uh, rushed. To this day, when I, to like when I, obviously when I play Cold War every day, I still get bugs in the game. For example, ray tracing. Ray tracing is broke on on Xbox Series X. It's uh, in my stream before. Do you know, like the sky? It goes black, white, black, white. Do you know, like red, dark, white, dark. White. Uh, then the walls go blurry. But when I turn ray tracing off. It's alright. So it's definitely ray tracing. Ray tracing is obviously broke on Xbox. I'm not sure what it's like on PS5. But ray tracing is definitely broke on Series X. Um, for, for, for Call of Duty anyway. Works in other, the other games are perfect. But Call of Duty, it's broke. Uh, unfortunately. Um, so I'm hoping this year's game is a lot more stable. Um, and right, so let's get into the, the three things. So MP maps. Now, for the last two or three years for Call of Duty... Multiplayer maps have been a big problem. Simply, there hasn't been enough. Um, I think this year's Call of Duty launch was 7 or 8. Where usually, I think it's 10 or 11. I know two, or, I know 3 isn't that much of a difference, but it is. It, it, it does show. Even if it's one less map. You know, it'd be nice to see this year's Call of Duty launch with around maybe 12, 10, even 10 maps. 10 or 10 or 11 or 12 maps. Um, I hope that happens. Because if, a multi if you haven't got much multiplayer maps, that's when it starts to get repetitive and boring. In my opinion, anyway. I think when Black Ops released Cold War, you felt as if you were playing the same maps over and over and over and over again. Which is why, obviously, people got bored of it so quickly. Um, so, yeah. This year's Call of Duty, I hope they get more maps in that at launch. Don't leave it till a later date. At launch, start with about 10 or 12 maps. But then they'll be off to a good start. Do you know what I mean? Now, the second thing I want to talk about is a single player. Now, I've heard a few rumblings going about that they might not have a single player campaign. Um, but well, I'm, I'm hoping they do. Um, because Call of Duty single player is... It's amazing. The only the only bad single player campaign Call of Duty's had is Black Ops 3. Which wasn't even a campaign, let's be honest. It wasn't a campaign. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 was single multiplayer only, and I don't think that really went well <laughs> um, with uh, some people. But yeah, oh no, it wasn't Black Ops 3. It was Black Ops 4. Sorry, Black Ops 4 never had a campaign. Black Ops 3 did have a campaign. Um, Black Ops 4 didn't. I apologise for that. So Black Ops 4 didn't have a campaign, uh, which didn't really go well with people. Um, so I'm hoping this year's Call of Duty as a campaign, same as most of the Call of Duties, because I love Call of Duty campaigns. Black Ops Cold War campaign is probably the best I've played yet, actually. Actually, no. I think Call of Duty Ghost is the best I've played. And I think Cold War second. The campaign was amazing on Cold War. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the co-op mode. Now, I'm hoping... Uh, Sledgehammer have, like, a co-op mode. Do you know, like, our... Co do you know, like, our Infinity War have got, like, Spec Ops. Um, and, obviously, Cold War's got zombies. I hope Sledgehammer have a, zo a separate zombies mode. Um, a bit similar to Treyarch. I hope they do. Because Advanced Warfare, when that came out, that had a zombie mode as well. So I'm hoping this year has a zombie mode as well. That'd be interesting to see. Now, Advanced Warfare, I was saying this to, me, uh, to the stream a few days ago. Advanced Warfare, I think, is one of the most underrated CODs ever. It was fun. There was no stress. It was just fun to play. And I can't believe, I can't believe I'm saying this. But if this year's Call of Duty was Advanced Warfare 2, I would be I'd be doing star jumps, I'd be over the moon. Because I think Call of Duty needs a bit of a change uh, again. Um but it'd be nice to see Advanced Warfare 2, because I think Advanced Warfare I think the reason why Advanced Warfare got so much criticism 
was because of the jetpacks. People didn't like jetpacks at that time, back in the day. But I think now, people actually wouldn't mind it. Because they actually realised how actually good it was. It was fun to play. Do you know what I mean? You, you, you were jumping all over the shop. You were... I'm not going to lie. When people were using jetpacks to like evade your shots, that was a bit annoying. But apart from that, I didn't mind it. You know, I actually enjoyed it. So there we go, guys. That's what I'm wanting for the next year, this year's Call of Duty. Um, don't forget the Sledgehammer games that are making it. The last Call of Duty game they made was Call of Duty World War II. Um, which, I didn't hate it. But, I got bored of it quickly, unfortunately. So I'm hoping this year's is obviously a lot better. So, guys. Leave a comment below. What are you hoping for this year's Call of Duty? Are you looking for, are, are you looking for a futuristic one? A uh, one back in the day, well, what is? Leave a comment below, and we'll have this conversation about it. So, thank you for watching. If you like the video, give it a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. See you on my next video. Take care.